to my channel Holly back again for video number 17 for July's stitching uh, I cannot believe we're in August already like literally where is this month going it's just going crazy so I have got quite a lot of stitching for you this month I think I have done in all I've got my little handy notebook in case I forget what I'm talking about um, I've done 6,782 stitches this month and I have actually reached the 21,000 goal for 2021 already because back in February I think, is it February? I was off work and I think I managed to do like 11,000 stitches uh, in one month just because I didn't have a job to do because I was furloughed. So uh, I think I need to kind of up my game a little bit on that one. Excuse the um, monstrosity in the background I just thought I'd mention that because I can I can feel it on my corner um that is I'm going to speak to you about that a bit later so you'll see where that comes into play but it is cross stitch related I have a little bit of haul I don't have a huge amount I have a little bit um oh yeah I I've just had my eyebrows done so that's why they're looking really really brown a lot darker than usual sorry about that they will kind of calm down a little bit but when you have um I've had actually an eyelash lift I don't know if you can see so that is eyelash lift and tint so I don't have any mascara on at all um and then I had my eyebrows tinted and waxed so they might be looking a little bit red um I can certainly still feel them they're certainly still feeling a bit um raw but the tint will calm down so it's only just the next few days and then it'll settle down and I won't look too crazy so I just thought I'd throw that in there in case you're going whoa what happened to her today um so yeah I have a bit of a haul um I don't know what to start with should I start with haul or whip yeah do you know what I if you saw my desk you would be uh, it's I've got so much on my desk it's overflowing I literally cannot cope so let me get rid of some of this rubbish on my desk um it includes the haul um, so the first thing I bought, which will be a little bit clearer when I show you my work and I'll, I'll bring that into the conversation as well, is I got some of these Q-Snap extensions. So I'm currently using some of these on one of my other projects. I don't know how many I got, I think I've got six, three, four, five, six. So they're three inch extensions. So these are what you can put on your Q-snaps to make them a little bit longer or wider. And I feel like I definitely need to use them on one of my projects, the Bountiful Bookshelf, because I'm finding that I'm running out of space and I'm struggling with processing the thought of putting the Q-snap on my stitches. And I know that sounds crazy and I know I, I think I just need to bite the bullet and just do it and, you know, protect them with some felt, which I've got. But it's still like this mental block of putting a Q-snap on my stitches, which I'm not dealing with very well. I, for that reason, prefer to use frames because I know that, you know, all of your work is on a frame and, you know, you, you also don't have any excess material and... Um, it's not all scrunched up and it doesn't get dirty because you can keep it, you know, pretty clean. Um, so I've got extensions for one of my pieces of work. I've actually got these on another piece of work, which I'll show you in a second. My new start because I have got a new start. In fact, I've got two new starts. Three new starts, actually. Three that you haven't seen last year. Last year? Last month. Um... And then rest you have seen but as well as my extensions i also bought for i think i showed you this last month so anyway i am thinking about doing this one as another new start um this is a, an amy stewart's it says Story Keep, uh, Life is an Open Book, London. Because I just think that would be gorgeous to do. And I am thinking about doing some Stitch With Me's. So I've actually got all the floss for that one. I managed to get it all and it's all come in this. Uh, is it this one? I think it is. This beautiful bag. Um... 
this is how it comes in this really gorgeous netty bag so they will come together which is amazing so i am ready to start that and in case you're wondering what this monstrosity is behind me that brings me on to this i stitch it's very difficult i don't really have anywhere to stitch and i don't really like stitching at a desk or a table and I tend to stitch on my bed. So even though you're not going to see any of my bed because the stitch with me's are going to be very, very focused on my work, I need to somehow find something which will kind of come over. So underneath my bed and over and um, film my stitch with me's. So this I bought from Amazon. It is humongous, it's massive. So if I show you the bottom, this bit, let me see. This goes under the bed. It's a little bit like a Lowry stand, um, and it extends up, extends, um, comes down, and it will just. I can just use that to. To use for my work, and then you can see what I'm doing and what I'm working on and how I work and all of that jazz. So I thought, you know, I, I've had one or two years of doing some videos and I thought it was high time I started pulling my weight and did some stitch with me's because I love watching them I love watching um ones where people are talking I love watching the ones where so is it Nikki Nikki B is it Nikki Brown Nikki B she literally is just no talking just watching her stitch with some beautiful background music and I just love it and I, I just get immersed in her stitching and for one her stitching is stunning let's face it um, and she's the one that keeps trying to throw me back onto 32 counts but and 28 counts one over one and I know I just don't get on with it but her work is so beautiful and for some reason the crosses look so much bigger on uh, her stitch with me's they actually look more like my 20 counts which I'll come on to in a second uh, so I feel like I'm you know I've got a happy medium so I bought that. What else did I buy? I actually haven't bought a lot this month, to be fair. Oh God, I'm so thirsty today. Um, so, oh yeah, I bought some more fabric. So, okay, very unlike me, I have decided to look at a different stitch count. So as you all know from all the years of following me, I prefer 18 count, it's my go-to really, because I like to have bigger projects. In my Bountiful bookshelf, which I think is 999 stitches wide by something like 775 stitches, well, 999 in length by 775 in width, um, which is a, a super, it's a super size, a max color. I'm doing that in 18 count because I would like to have it as a focal piece in my hallway so as you walk in so in my house in the states that i'm having built you'll kind of walk into sort of the bedroom area and offer an eight foot wide hall you've got sort of bedrooms and office and things like that and right at the end of of that hallway literally in front of you i'm going to put this beautiful big um finished project of Bountiful Bookshelf, which is, uh, let me show you, those of you that are new around here, um, Bountiful Bookshelf is an Amy Stewart, and it is this beauty. So that is going to take pride of place, and it is as big as it can go with a stitch that I can deal with. I don't really like working on anything less than 18 counts. Um, just because I think you start losing the coverage a little bit and I don't like using, you know, three, four, five strands of floss. I only like using two. So I always do my stitching, my 18 count, two over one. So I have bought some 18 count fabric because I am thinking, I'm thinking, although I haven't come to the conclusion yet because I'm working on something else and that will come clear to you in a second as well. I am thinking about doing, oh, I haven't got it out, I showed it you last month, it is uh, delightful, not delightful, 
peacock days. I'm just trying to find where I've put my uh -huh. hang on, let me just bring it up on my tablet. One second. I don't think I was gonna sort of mention it, which is why I haven't been organised and brought it up on. Uh, okay, peacock days, where are you? So this beauty here, again, well, it's a, it's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, and it is by Josephine Wall. Oh, so I don't know if it's without the reflection. There we go. So that is a beautiful project which I would like to start. However, and I never thought I would say this, I am very very confused about whether I want to do that on. 18 count, two over one, or 20 count, one over one. I've started another project. I've actually started two projects. So the first one I started is, um, I think I mentioned it last month, it's a balloon. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is the one that I started last month. Okay, that's an Amy Stewart. Um, yeah, Amy Stewart. So I've actually started that on 20 counts and I'm not 100% sure about it because I'm doing it two over one. And personally, I find the stitches very bunched up. Now, I will obviously talk more about that when I show you. So I bought some more 20 count fabric because I don't know how I'm feeling about it at the moment. I'm feeling that, and I I don't rip stuff out. I cannot, I literally don't have the time. I cannot be bothered to sit and rip the stitches out that I've done already and reuse it. So what I'll do is I'll probably like slice down the fabric that I haven't used, throw away the bit that I have, and I'll probably use the rest of that for, um, for this London one, which I think, I think, this one which I think I'm going to do on 20 count don't hold me to that because I've also started the Paris story keep in 18 count again because I did it in 25 and I'm kind of halfway through but I really am hating working with it I just don't like 25 count I don't think I like anything less than 20 count so anything or should I say anything more than 20 count so unless it's 2 over 2 28 count or 32 count I'm not interested um I don't know I just don't like the finish of the stitches but that's just me that's my own pre preference personal preference so what I'll probably do is like I said get rid of the um stitches that I've used um cut that cut it to size for this new project for this London and then this new fabric which I bought because I originally bought this which is a 20 count um use this for another project maybe peacock days i don't know i'm just so torn right now with how i feel about it i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sit it out for a while on a 20 count 101 see how that you know makes me feel see where it takes me and yeah go from there i, I tend to stick to my my thought process with the stitching and the counts was that for me the project sizes on 25 count have always been way too small like the finish has been way too small so i do like a bigger finish because i'm going to display my work on my wall and my walls are huge they're like 10 foot high for me personally if i go like a, a slightly smaller stitch count 18 counts because rather than 16 count because then you start getting a bit iffy with coverage and things um i think that works well with me which is the main reason why i or whilst why i decided to do um the bountiful bookshelf on 18 count now one of the main reasons why i am looking to go down a stitch count or up a stitch count i get so confused so go up to 20 counts one over one is because I purchased and I purchased purchased this a while back mind 
uh, stitch in time I've got it here by Amy Stewart okay this one here um, see if I can get it without the glare a stitch in time everyone knows that one and if I do that on 18 count I can't get it on frame so I can't get it on like a frame like this you know rather than a Q snap this is also something else I bought I bought this as well so that was another buy I just seem to have zillions and zillions of frames right now but I can't I don't have the scope of patience to take work off one Q snap and put it on another or take it off a frame and put it on another once it's on a frame or a Q snap it stays there and if I want to start another project then I just buy, buy another frame or another Q snap because it's so fiddly it frustrates me to hell I hate it I hate putting work on frames I hate putting work on Q snaps I just get all of the you know edges not aligned and um, oh, I'm ripping them out and putting them back on and it's just it's just a massive bugbear to me so if I do that design stitching time on 20 count one over one I can fit it on uh, Omnium Om Omnia. what is that big frame is it Omni on oh my god it's not a quantum frame but I got an email from them not so long ago and I can't remember what they're called now and I don't want to um, butcher the name hang on one second where's my email um, I know it begins with O M I can't even remember what the name is now I want to say you know what if I turn my aeroplane mode off and turn off my sound so my um, tablet this one here Samsung is only what I use for pattern keeper so to keep the battery I tend to turn on aeroplane mode and also because I can't be dealing with like everything coming through um, oh my god hang on one second where even is my inbox okay so my I don't think my email knows what to do right now because it hasn't been um hang on one second you know what I will just put it at the bottom I think it's an om I want to say omenac oh om omenac Omanek Factory, so it's an Omanek frame, O-M-A-N-I-K, so I knew I was there, I was just couldn't get the actual word out, so an Omanek or Omanek frame. Now, they go up to 110 centimetres in width, and that is fantastic, it doesn't really matter what sort of, or should I say length, and then obviously the width. So, width-wise, I mean, I, I think I'll probably order 20 maybe 30 I don't know probably 20 is enough um but if I was doing 18 count I'd have to use a q-snap now I'm already using a q-snap for one of my bigger projects the bountiful bookshelf which is 999 by like something like 725 stitches and it's driving me nuts all of the excess fabric is just driving me potty I can't deal with it I hate all this fabric hanging around um, it worries me that it's all going to get dirty and, and I know, I know that you can wash it and everything, but still it's just that, it's just, it's a, it's a, a dirt collector, isn't it? I can't really put a grime guard on it because I haven't got a grime guard thick enough. So I'm having to kind of deal with it right now and it's driving me nuts. But anyway, so there we are. There's, there's my moan about Q-snaps. <laughs> So, going back to a stitch in time, if I, I feel like this is all going to collapse because I've got so much on my desk. If I do 20 count one over one, then I can fit it on an Omanek frame, which is perfect. And I know they're expensive, but you know what? They're worth it. How many hours and hours and hours am I going to spend working on that project? 
so and I don't know if I'm going to start working on it until I'm in the States I haven't decided whether I'm going to buy the frame here and start it when I'm over there or because I've still got a large project going on with this bountiful bookshelf or whether I am just going to bite the bullet and go no sod it I'll just have two huge huge projects on the go and just deal with it and work you know just tap away at them so I'm not too sure. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see me start it or not start it or what, whatever. I will go. What? I will go on what you think. Um, stick everything that I'm done with because I've got so much on my desk. I am just gonna chuck my bed. I'm done with that and I'm done with that. Right. Let's get into whips. So, like I said, I've done quite a lot this month um i've worked on how many projects have i worked on where are you right one two three four five six seven i've worked on eight yeah i worked on eight projects this month which is really good so i am probably going to do it in the order that i've got in on this rubbish site right here because it's about to collapse on me and that could be pretty embarrassing so if I just pull out I mean these aren't even in order because I'm just so super organized okay so the first one that I'm going to show you is book, what I call bookshelf um, and this is by New Dream Stitch and these are all of my beautiful books that I get from the Penguin Classic Collection. All of the oldies like Sense and Sensibility and, you know, the Thomas Hardys, the Charles Dickens and, um, you know, Jane Austen, um, Nicholas Nickleby and, um, I don't know, Little Women and all of the beautiful oldies, Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens because I absolutely love those books. So, I've actually done quite a lot on this this month. I don't think I made it my focus piece, but it ended up being my focus piece, just because whenever I was in the car or, um, you know, I was taking breaks, it was in my car with me. So I just literally stitched on it as and when I had the time to. So the month of... July I did 1596 stitches and I am now at 21.71% completion so this is what it looked like our last month let me just get rid of my stitches hang on a second And this is what it looks like. I'm going to put something behind it actually. Give me one moment because I've got a light. Okay. Oh, I'm really itchy, itchy nose, excuse me. Okay, so. And this is what it looks like now. And I don't know what you can see. I hope you can see all of it. So for this one, I am. Um, I'm doing it slightly differently. What I was originally going to do was I was going to just complete all of one. Okay, one, one, one. Now, what I seem to have done is I've kind of almost in my head drawn a line around here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all of the stitches done. And then I'm just going, That I think that's the reason why I've started parking my stitches so I don't go any further. And then what I'm going to do is once I reach a point, I'm going to start coming down and stitching the rest and just kind of you know bring the whole project down to completion um, but I love working on this one this has a, a real array of colors if you're ever feeling like doomy and gloomy this is a lovely one to stitch because there's a lot of block color in this as well so when you want a bit of a, a break from confetti um, which a lot of the heaven and earth designs have it's nice to have you know a lovely break I think that's one of the reasons why I use this in my car because you know there's not a hell of a lot of stopping and changing of, of flosses just pick a color and you just roll with it it's brilliant 
That one is being stitched on 18 count, two over one. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm I love that one. So it's 21%. I actually thought it was probably a little bit more, but it's not actually, is it? It's 21% complete. So that one is coming along nicely. Um, I think my cat has just jumped up somewhere. I heard him earlier. So the next one I'm going to show you is a new start. Um, and this wasn't around last month, but I think I showed you that I bought this one. And I love this. Now, this is one of my favourite, favourite insects of all time, a bumblebee. Now, I can't remember who it's charted by, but I bought it off Etsy. And it's just beautiful. Um, what I would love to do when I've you know, got everything sorted in the States is I would love to have a garden, which just is bee heaven because I think it's really important that we protect our bees. There aren't very many of them left in the, in the world. And I just would love to create this beautiful wild garden that is bee heaven to kind of try and attract as many bees as possible. I would love to keep bees. However, I think that could be a problem if I'm, I'm running a business from home and if I've got anyone with allergies, you know, it's, it's enough just encouraging bees to the garden without having a hundred thousand of them on the property any one time so this beauty is being done on and i've just put the paper away i believe this is 28 count i think i'm more than sure that it's 28 count because i wanted a, a bigger finish this is um i think this one is this fabric is snow something snow you know i'm not doing very well on my, my memory today um but this is like an iridescent, opalescent type fabric because I absolutely love that. If I've got something that's like a sampler or it's like a small motif and I don't have any, it's not like a full coverage, then I'll always do it on a, oh, sparkle snow it's called. I'll always do it on a sparkly fabric because I just think it gives it another edge. So this is where I'm at. And so again, this is on 28 counts, two over two. And it had 766 stitches. And believe it or not, I'm just over 15.5% complete. <laughs> I love ones like this. And again, this because you can you can see here, you've got like block colours of black, block colours of you know yellow, different yellow in here, block colours of black. It's it's a quick, it stitches up really, really quickly, and that's what I love about it and see my a little bee needle minder that goes with it so well which is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be um but yeah very very cute so yeah I'm enjoying that one definitely enjoying that one okay right the biggie oh god so the next one see everything's falling off my desk what was that I just fell off oh that's okay it's a tape measure so my next beauty is one I've actually shown you earlier, is another Amy Stewart. I love Amy Stewart, have you noticed? Amy Stewart and Josephine Wall seem to be my go-to projects. So, Bountiful Bookshelf, 999 in width, length, across, 999 by 714 I think I'm mad but again I absolutely love books I have a massive love for books I just don't get enough time in in the world to read them but what I do do what I do do is because I love stitching and I love reading and I find personally that reading wastes I know it sounds bizarre I don't mean to say it wastes time because it doesn't but I think there could be something else I could be doing instead of reading a book. Now, why not stitch whilst you read? So Audible has been my new best friend. So anything that I've been wanting to read, I just stick Audible on and I stitch and I love it. So this one got 
778 stitches last month, which doesn't sound like a lot. It wasn't one that I really concentrated on, but it's one that I touch every single month. So sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less. This is being stitched on 18 count two over one, as you know, and I have done 2.82% completion, which is crap really, isn't it? So let me just move these down. Okay. So here is where you saw it last month. And this is where we are up to now. So my plan going forward is I am going to bring this all down and finish this book here, this area here, this area here. This is the reason why I've got the extenders because I'm going to put the extenders on here, this side, so that I can bring this down and I can complete this book, this part of the shelf, complete this book here, complete this area here and that area there. Then once all of that is done, I'm then going to move on to the next book. And I think that's what I'm going to do and how I'm going to play this. I think I'm going to complete the book. Um, and I think, you know, that half and this half of the book is one page. So that'll be two pages and then two pages and then two pages. So, yes, I am going through the pages, but it's just for me, it's just a lot easier. And then I don't have to worry about running out of threads and having the wrong colour. Because quite frankly, if you've got, you know, a 779 in this area here, and then you've got a 779 in a book over here. Well, as long as the 779s in this book are all the same, it doesn't really matter whether it's the same shade as this one, as long as, you know, you're matching up by the books. So, that is my plan for that one. I'll do it a bit closer. I still got, I am still a bit bitty, but, you know, I do want to get all of this done and bring it down. So that is definitely my plan for that one. So this is, like I said, 18 count, 2 over 1. Um, yeah, I love this one. If I if I didn't have any other projects, I think I would just continue to see work on this one. And this is, this is the one that I'm going to take to the States with me when we start building. So that I can really get a hang on um, some of my stitching. So I'm going out there for three months to build, eventually at some point in my life um when we were finally allowed out there oh sorry rascal sorry sweetheart <laughs> i just scared the hell out my cat <laughs> um sorry babes <laughs> um so they're probably actually there might be actually you know what there will be a stitch video because instead of it being loads and loads of stitching i can just do a uh, update video of what's going on and what we're building and how we're doing it and what's going on because we're we're going to be completely annihilating an RV as well. So we're just going to buy an RV that's got the length that's most important, as big as we can, that is as trashed, so as cheap as, as we need. And we're just going to completely gut it. So put a brand new bathroom in, brand new kitchen. Like I'm, I don't like all of the RV furniture, so I'm just going to get a nice, a nice kind of corner sofa that pulls out into another bed and, you know, a proper bed in, in the bedroom area. So it won't be RV furniture, but obviously then I can stitch. So there's going to be evenings. We can't, I can't build all the time. I'm going to have probably from seven o'clock onwards, stitchy time. And you know what? We're going to need a day off, I expect, sometime. So, um, yeah, my dad's going to have to keep himself busy whilst I get on with some stitching. But that is the project that I want to take because... That is one that's going to take me about 11 and a half years to do right now. Okay, so on to the next one, which is one of my favourites. And I have loved working on this one this month. Because I actually feel like I've achieved something. So, the next one is... Um, she says, if she can find it, here we go. See, I love the hot pink. I love hot pink. So the next one is 
my beautiful long dog sampler. Resistance is futile. There we are. Absolutely beautiful. This one I know is being done on 28 count, two over two, because again, I wanted a larger finish because I wanted it to go on my wall and really pop. So it's going up against like a dove gray wall. So I think this beautiful color is just gonna, you know, pop, pop, which would be amazing. So I did 962 stitches on this and I'm 12.12% complete. But I finished a band. Oh, hang on, hang on. This is where it was last month. I forgot to say. This is where it was last month. And this is where I am now. So look at that beauty. This has been done with uh, CXC threads, number 917, same as DMC 917. Um, I know it's kind of a bit odd, sort of, up here, but I think that's just where the fabric's pulled. But is that not stunning? Or is that not stunning? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pattern. So, again, for this one, I'm just going to be sort of bringing it down, um, trying to do band by band. But I absolutely love this one. And the the pink that you see in the camera just isn't doing it justice it's so much more vibrant than that oh that's where that went it's absolutely stunning and it's gorgeous so that one is being done two of two on 28 counts um which i love now the next one that I worked on is again another Amy Stewart chartered by Heaven and Earth Designs this is ornament a stitch in time so in that big picture that I set that I showed you, if I can bring it up again. Um, that is just, I think I've turned up. Oh, have I? No. Um, that is just the little bit in the middle. So as you can see, it's is that bit there. So, you know what, with all these little bits of a stitch in time that I'm doing, I'm kind of pretty much going to have completed the whole entire thing without actually stitching the whole thing. <laughs> so anyway, this is being done uh, on 18 count 2 over 1, and I did 375 stitches this month, and I'm 7.5% complete. So, this is where you saw it last month. I really got a kind of bit of a mess. And this is where we are this month. So still lots of gaps. And my plan for this one is I see this line here, a little bit like the last one on the bookshelf. I'm just going to get to a point, start parking. And I'm just going to make sure all of this is all complete before I start working down because I just think it's nicer when it's like that when you can work down and you've got actually finished stitching above I just think it looks a lot nicer so this is on 18 count and again I did this on 18 count because I wanted it to be a bigger project um, two over one just on a Zweigart even weave in fact all of the my, my gridded fabrics all in even weave I think it's Zweigart even weave so yes, another beauty. Okay. So, um, 
And the next one I worked on, I'm actually going to show you the, oh yeah, I'm going to show you this one. This one, I've bought some, I did buy some of those Q-stamp extenders to put on this one and you'll see why in a second. I just wanted to make sure that my whole entire project fit on a Q-snap because I just, like I said, I hate moving um, the Q-snaps over and I'm going to say that I didn't have a frame big enough but actually I do have a frame big enough okay so that's a complete lie because this frame would actually fit that Q-snap and that is extended to the same amount but as you can see this is another Amy Stewart this is Stitch and Time Balloon Day and I'm stitching this on 20 count, 2 over 1. But am I? So, I started it. I haven't got anything, I haven't got it before to show you. So I started it. However, I'm get myself in here. It would help if I put it on my way. This is where I'm up to. I did 970 972 stitches and not I'm 0.59% complete. Right. Okay. So um I'm gonna get you really close because can you see? Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna stand up for this one. Can you see that closely and how I feel that they are really bunched up stitches? Now, I do understand and I do get the fact that you don't actually look that close. So if I pull it back, it actually looks, I can't even see, that. yeah. So it actually looks quite good um, from a distance and it just looks like it's, stitches but you can't actually see the definition of the stitches now I am also even though I'm using a really small needle I am also finding it a struggle stitching it because the with with having the two flosses it's quite thick now I use CXC floss CXC thread as you know, I don't use DMC because I don't like it, and that's personal preference. So, the reason I don't use DMC is because I find it extremely thin, and the quality just isn't there for me. It used to be 100 years ago, um, and it's not. In fact, I have got like 100 million still, all of these DMC flosses that are all in my stash that I will never use. Um, in fact, I could probably just do with giving them away, to be fair, because I just don't like DMC. I much, much prefer uh, CXC threads. Now, it is very, very slightly thicker, in my opinion. CXC is very much, very slightly thicker than DMC. So if you stitch with DMC, 20 count, two over one, it's probably fine for you, but I just don't like how crowded my stitches look and for that reason I think what I'm going to end up doing instead of I don't know if I've got that in yeah instead of like completing this I'm just going to cut here and I'm just going to use this so it's not um, wasted for another project but you know what when I when I stand back I think actually it looks nice but for me, I know you're not supposed to look at your stitches close up, but it, unless my stitches look neat close up, it bugs the hell out of me. Let me just go back to, okay, okay, right. So this is 18 count, two over one. Um, let me just get something behind this. Okay. Look how neat those stitches look. They just lie perfectly beautifully. There doesn't seem to be hardly any crowding. They just lie nicely. 
and it looks really smart. Now, it's probably, I don't like to use the word OCD, but it is probably like an OCD thing that I like my stitches to look uniform, to look neat. Um, I don't couldn't give two craps about the back, if I'm honest, because I don't really care about the back. I don't look at the back and, and quite honestly, once it's all put on my wall, um, the back can look as crap as it likes, as long as there isn't any knots. I hate knots. Um, but I run threads behind my work. In fact, this is probably a, a bad example because it's actually quite neat because of the, the block colour. But that's my back for that one. And I will actually show you the back of... And I'll actually show you the back of this one I'm about to show you. Which is my next one. Um, which is this, another stitch in time. A stitch in time. Now, the reason why I'm doing this one is because I wanted to do this one on 20 count one over one. It was bugging the hell out of me that I didn't know what I wanted to do, the, the big stitch in time. And I don't even know why, because I'm not even ready to stitch it, but it's just a kind of psychological thing for me. So I'm starting this one, and I love this one because I love these colours. This is another Amy Stewart, a stitch in time sweet life and i am doing this 20 counts one over one and i will show you the difference now i've popped this one on a frame because maybe i just didn't have a frame big enough for the other one i think that might have been it because i was using i was going to use this frame that i've used this one on on a um well, Rose of the Province I bought ages ago and I can't wait to start it, but I've ordered fabric from the Crafty Kitten and it's not arrived and I ordered it back in April and I cannot get hold of her <laughs> at all. She won't respond to any emails, any messages, any anything. Um, I'm kind of at the point where I'm just like, well, if you're not going to respond to me, then I'm going to have to look at buying elsewhere because it's it was a five week turnaround and, and I think we're now we're on almost month four or five. Um, I understand that she's busy, I'm not having a go, I'm just saying, you know, if you're gonna, you know, shut up shop, not take any orders, which is fine, to get out what you've got already, you kind of need to still be speaking to people so they know what they're doing. Anyway, that's by the by. So I was saving this frame for that project, which I can't do now because I haven't received the fabric, so I've decided to um, work on this frame instead. So this is, this is one over one, and I'm gonna put this. Oh, sugar, sorry, one second. That is one over one. Now, if I get closer, the coverage is still pretty good. Oh, hang on, sorry. However, can you see how neat the stitches look? They don't seem like they're all bunched together. They just are really neat stitches. Now, I did say oh, I would show you the back, didn't I? However, I don't know if I'm going to get the right angle. Um, hang on. Yes, it's a mess, but I can't, I don't really care. Because it's the back and the back is the back and once it's on my wall it's not going to be bother it's not going to be annoying me anyway so um yes so i'm a bit confused and i'm a little bit like two minds whether to start this one again and i think actually i might want to start that one again because I'm not enjoying working on the two over one on the 20 count. And I know me that if I'm not enjoying working on something, I won't work on it, point blank. It just won't happen. So yeah, I think I might end up starting that again. But you know what? I'm probably not gonna start that again anytime soon. I'll probably end up starting something slightly smaller, which is like the London Story Keep or something because it is still, it's still quite beefy, that one, it's quite big. 
and last but by all means not least is my alternative reality which is this beauty by Josephine Wall absolutely love this beautiful beautiful and I did 802 stitches this month and I'm 8.26 complete so this is where you saw it last month okay let me just sort this out Right, this is where I'm at. Oh, this month, I'm a second. Mm. Okay, just check that you can see this. Yep, yeah. right, I'm going to stand up for this so I can explain. Okay, so if I hold it back a little bit, it's very difficult when you can't see what's on the screen. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, I've started doing this one slightly differently. Um, again, going back to the neatness that I was talking about earlier. Um, so I've started staggering this one down and I will stagger it all the way down and get all of this all complete and then go on to the next one, next side and then the next side. And I think that's how I'm going to carry on doing this one. Um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be my plan for that one. So I've done actually quite a bit in this area here. I haven't really touched this bit here too much, but definitely on this area here, I've done a lot more. But that's looking very beautiful. I love working on, I love working on this one because I just absolutely love the colors of Josephine Wall's um, paintings. Her artwork is stunning. Okay, so that is it for whips. So going forward, uh, what am I going to be working on this month? So, oh, it's your nose, I'm so sorry, just right on the end. Um, what am I gonna be working on this month? So I'm definitely going to be touching on alternative reality because again, because that's a, a larger project that gets worked on or does it get worked on yeah I try I will try and work on that one it depends on what works like it depends on what I've got going on in that month um gray spaces from Josephine Wall didn't get a look in this month so I will be working on this one this month as well um so that will have some stitchy love. And most probably, because I'm loving working on this one, the one I've just shown you. This one here, Stitch in Time, Sweet Life. That will probably get some stitchy love as well. Because I'm loving working on that one. And Bountiful Bookshelf gets worked on every single month, as you know, so that will get some love this month. And that won't, that won't. Um, that won't. Mm, the B. I'm not sure about B. If I if I manage to fit her in as and when, I might do some of her. Um, but I'm not sure. Potentially, potentially. 
a new start. Now I've got all my flosses, potentially. Don't hold me to it. However, I might do a stitch with me on this one. So I might start it. Yeah, I might do a stitch with me on that one. Not sure yet. Bookshelf, no. Um, so the other ones that will get some love are... This one here, Story Keep Paris, because I'm working on that one at the moment on 18 count, two over one. I'm really sorry about the reflection, but you either have light or reflection. <laughs> kind of, there's no in between really. So we'll definitely be working on that one. Uh, Grey spaces, I said yes. And, oh, Twisted Band Sampler. That baby can come out this month as well. This one here, as you all know, so you've seen them a lot of, that will come out to play and so will this beauty. Delightful waltz. I'm going to try and move them over so you can see. By Artisy. And that one's been stitched on 18 counts, two over one. So there we are, I've done my whips and I've talked about what I'm gonna be working on and I've done, I've gone through my haul, which isn't a lot really. Life updates, everyone is healthy. All of my kids are healthy. So my two cats and my horse, thankfully, touch wood. Um, yeah, all really good. I say touch wood. God, I feel like I've jinxed it now, but nothing to report. Rascal's healthy. Um, my horse has recovered from her sarcoids really well and she's back in work and she's doing really well. I'm enjoying, you know, bringing her back into work and just spending time with her, which is nice. Um, other than that, literally just working, working, stitching, horsing, sleeping. <laughs> that tends to be my um, regime. Oh, I went on a 12k run yesterday because I thought it'd be a really good idea and this morning I feel slightly paralysed but um, okay it wasn't a 12k run all in all it was a bit of walking it was a lot of walking um, but you know what I killed 850 calories yesterday so I'm happy about that I'm not like a diet diet I'm just I watched one of my videos back couple of months ago the one where I don't know if you saw it I had a pepper well you wouldn't have known what top it was but it was like a blue peppermint top and these bits here I really struggle with I'll bring my mirror up. I'll down a bit so these bits here I don't know if anyone else has the issue but I really struggle anyway I was watching this video back and I was just like oh my god you've put on a lot of weight and you know what it's lockdown that's done that because I've just eaten myself out of house and home I haven't been going to work, so I've not been running around a restaurant, so I've not been burning any calories. I've just been stuffing my face and consuming them. So I made a pact that I was going to get on a, a rapid weight loss, and I've I pulled myself down to um, 1,500 calories a day. So that means no sugar in my tea. That means a healthy lunch, um, not eating before or after six o'clock. Um, a healthy dinner, things like fish and new potatoes and vegetables and um, I've been having sort of chicken and like coleslaw, you know, that sort of thing, but smaller meals and making sure that I've been eating breakfast every morning. So I'll have um, like high fibre, not high fibre, is it like the fruit and fibre with all the bits in, sort of the, the bran flakes with, you know, the bits of apple and bits of banana and things like that. And I have that with almond milk and that's really nice. So I'm, I'm trying to kind of get a bit healthier. Um, you know, with me working at the COVID place, again, I'm still not spending the time in a restaurant, running around a restaurant or anything. I only do that once or twice a week now. 
so I'm not burning the calories. I mean, I probably burnt about 1500 calories a day when I was working in the restaurant. I kid you not. It's such a busy restaurant all of the time that you're working. So yeah, I'm not doing that. So I can't eat what I thought I could eat. So I, I, I obviously just ate crap throughout the day and um, I got away with it because I was skinny and then lockdown happened and I was furloughed and yeah, I've just put on a bit more weight than I would like to. So I'm on a, a rapid, a rapid weight loss um, thing. So I've got two weeks to lose a stone. I've, I've lost about seven pounds already, which is good, over a week. Um, I've just been doing crazy exercise, literally every day I've been going out for five 10k runs um, I've been skipping for half an hour, which burns like 500 600 calories a day like an hour um, I do lots of press-ups and things like that. Anyway, that's boring. So That's literally all I've been doing really is just exercising working sleeping horse and stitching So um, I think that's it for today this month has flown by. I can't believe how quickly it's flown by. Thank you so much for coming back and following me on my journey. And I look forward to seeing you again next month. See you later, guys. Keep safe. Bye.